When we survive trauma, our brain remembers trauma. And when we survive a lot of trauma, our brain prioritizes remembering a lot of trauma. In fact, our brain will dedicate all of its resources to remembering those experiences and even casting what we call trauma nets to tag more and more stimuli, experiences, even relationships with people as possibly threatening or dangerous. This is our brain's loving way of keeping us safe, counterintuitive, I know. And when our brain is designed to say that the world is a scary place, those are the memories that it prioritizes. And so, so many people have memories of childhood that are only mired in pain and darkness and agony and the trauma that they've sustained and the trauma that they've survived. And they lose the capacity to link into the positive experiences.